Charles Collins. He just was a just a special guy. And I still feel the same way about him today as I did 30 some years ago. Nothing has changed. I still talk to Coach Collins and he called and check on me. You know, Coach Collins called me Junior. Junior, you all right? And, and that was from day one. So Coach Collins had played the biggest part of Nick Anderson signing with the University of Illinois. Who would you give uh, you know, Io was getting that you know, draft circles already as a freshman? What kind of advice would you give him as he goes through that process? Well, enjoy the process. Uh, when you're enjoying the process of something, I always say, stay humble. Be grateful, thankful, but stay humble. It's a great process. When you think about a lot of kids don't get this opportunity. They don't. This is an opportunity in a lifetime. Cherish it, respect it, enjoy it. Because think about it, it could be someone else and not you. So, so stay humble, be grateful, be thankful, and just cherish the moment. Nick, I apologize. This question's been asked to you before, but do you? How many times have you replayed that shot at Indiana <laughs> uh, throughout the last thirty years? I've been. Uh, I was just telling you guys earlier. I do Fox Sports Florida, and uh, our producer Ty Easton, he's a hoosier, and I taunt him all the time about it. <laughs> he taunts me about uh, Illinois. And I taunt him about that shot. And sometimes I grab my phone and I replay it. I say, check out the shot right here. So it comes up often. We have a living in Orlando. It's a lot of people, not only from uh, Indiana, but the Big Ten in general that I, I, I hang out with, play golf with. And, you know, I bring it up all the time to different people. I know, uh, you know, it's been 30 years ago, but do you think, just think back and realize how special that team was? I mean, Coach Underwood talks about playing positionless basketball, and I just told Lowell that, you know, you guys kind of defined positionless basketball 30 years ago before it was even a phrase. You, you think about guys out on the floor at that time, uh, you had 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, interchangeable, athletic, can run the floor, can do it all. Uh, 94 feet of pressure. Uh, you know, you, you talk about interchangeable. We, we were just that. Uh, big, small, it didn't matter to us. Uh, you don't find you don't find many college teams that can do that. Not for 48 minutes. And I think we played basketball for 48 minutes. We gave you 48 minutes of excuse to express but hell. We gave it to you. Uh, we were well conditioned. Uh, Coach, Coach Henson always uh, would say, we're not going to lose a basketball game because we're not in shape. And by halftime, a lot of teams, they didn't want to come out the second half because we had ran them to death the first half. Pressure. So interchangeable. Interchangeable uh, positions, spots, whatever you want to call them. I can move the guard. I can move the center. And that's vice versa with Kenny, Lowell, Marcus, Kendall. It, it didn't matter. Steve, Larry, it didn't matter. It just, we were, we, we were great. We were great. But what makes it even more special, we, which I don't see a lot of young men today, we did things together. Away from basketball as a unit and we, we were together all the time and I really think that's what made us special because we we ate together we hung out together and we took that to the basketball court. and uh, I think a lot of a lot of a lot of young men and women that unity togetherness you know uh, family atmosphere and we surely had the family atmosphere and I think about Coach Nagy Coach Coons Coach uh, John Giannini, Coach Collins, and the head of the snake was Coach Henson. We just had a special group. Our practices were were knockout, drag out, fights. We challenged each other every day. So 
and, and again, I said this once, I said a million times, I think that's what made us really, really special.